watching Six Five in the Booth, HPE Discover Las Vegas 2025, Keith Townsend, co-host Dave Nicholson, and we have with us SVP and GM of storage at HPE, Jim Odoricio. I love that name. <laughs> that, that's flair. You have flair. Dave, storage had a big highlight at the keto today. It did. It did, as it should, because as a knuckle-dragging storage guy myself, it is the <laughs> most important thing. It has always been the most important thing. Jim, do you agree? I agree. It's all about the data. It's all about the data. It's all about, it's all the, about data. the storage of all... that data. But what 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 came out of the keynote today? What what's what's special about what you're doing right now? No, I think look, you know, we're helping our customers uh, deliver really you know beneficial outcomes, and it's like I said, it's all about the data, and it's all about extracting value from the data. And so what you heard today in the spotlight is uh, some highlights around the X10K, our integration with MCP, um, you know, supporting agentic AI frameworks. And it's really about giving, uh, allowing customers to get insight out of their data. And you know, customers are looking for, for that for a couple reasons. They're either looking to drive operational benefit out of AI projects, or they're looking to you know, understand and reach their customers uh, in, at a different level. Uh, and AI is a, you know, a key element of that, of that uh, effort, so. So big in this is unstructured data. Yeah, it is unstructured huge. You know, it's not something that we've been able to take advantage of in the past in the, in the enterprise, not without a lot of effort with third party tools, et cetera. How is HPE helping customers take advantage of unstructured data for their AI pipeline? You know, we've got a couple of things going on, quite frankly. You know, one, one element is how do we activate the enterprise? We brought uh, a converged uh, platform, the private cloud for AI platform together last year that's literally storage, networking, compute, GPUs, all in, uh, packaged up with, with our own AI software along with NVIDIA uh, software to accelerate time to value for our customers. Um, and, and it's very much of a turnkey uh, solution, right? So customers can focus in on kind of their, their value creation and less on building the infrastructure. And then we brought to market the X10K, the, the Electra MP X10K, which is, uh, you know, uh, an in, is a, an intelligent data platform that leverages a key value store. So we're, you know, we're all about uh, inline data enrichment and uh, doing, po you know, rather than post processing, we're we're doing inline data enrichment and and uh, most recently, we're doing instant rag uh, pipeline. So as the data lands on the on the platform, we're literally calculating the vector embeddings and making the data, you know, it, making it, uh, the data available for chat right away. So pretty exciting stuff. So it's all about building intelligence into the platform. So we're, we're taking a very different approach with our, with our unstructured capabilities, but it's all about getting customers value that much quicker. So second level, customers are looking for ROI on their investment from this unstructured yeah. data. Chat box, I think was, you know, AI 1.0 from, from last year to this point agents in this investment in data, how are you helping customers see a return on value? You know, obviously, uh, you know, in a variety of ways. Uh, you, we heard, you heard us announce today the GreenLake uh, in intelligence platform, right? And uh, that's a huge effort towards really uh, creating that ability to leverage all of this agentic AI capability that's out into the market. So it's not only the AI we're bringing, but it's all the AI that's already out there and making it easy for the customer to consume. Uh, we also announced with the X10K today, uh, MCP uh, support. And, and again, that gives us the ability to have, you know, Agentic AI interface directly with our storage platform. You know, these are the sorts of things that di truly differentiate us from many of the other competitors in the market. Yeah, you bring, you bring up MCP as an example yeah. of the AIification of storage. Yeah. You know, there's we we hear a lot of folks AI washing their products. Yeah, yeah. And I come in with a healthy dose of skepticism. Uh, actually, a colleague of yours was touting how awesome your storage was that's coming out, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, nice word salad. And then we see what you're actually doing. Some of the stuff you described. Yeah. But you know, hit on that again. This idea that there is an AI element to this in terms of how the data is stored, where the data is stored. We were struck by 
No more discussion of speeds and feeds. It's all about the important integration of these AI workflows. Yeah. But how does MCP play into this specifically? You know, it's it's uh, there's so much there's so much being done, so much so much uh, you know uh, you know enhan en uh, or, uh, enhancements that are being made to AI models, and now the agentic AI because these agents are they're learning agents, they're smart agents, and they're sitting on the edge, and their ability to access the storage uh, directly and for the storage to access intelligence from the agentic AI frameworks is huge, and MCP is like a switchboard. It's a standard interface that allows those agentic AI uh, capabilities to access the storage directly. And that just um, kind of accentuates the value of what we can bring to market that much quicker. So AI accelerates everything. It also accelerates the threat vectors to the data. Customers are fixated on getting as much value out of their data and recognizing that there's much more value than they thought. And with any asset that you discover brand new, you know, data, new money. Yeah. And if you have this new money and people are constantly trying to tag it, what's HPE's perspective of helping data, uh, with data protection, specifically around cyber, with these evolving threats? Powered yeah. by AI in some sense. You know, certainly we have a comprehensive data for, for protection portfolio at, at uh, HPE, and, and one of the things we're doing is everything from uh, cyber resilience, and so we have a cyber resiliency product that's based on the Zerto technology that literally gives us a physical air-gapped environment, so you can recover in minutes, uh, you know, relative to what you might recover if you had an air gap in the cloud, so that's one element. We just introduced anomaly detection in our Electra MP B10,000, which is critical because now we're looking for uh, anomalies as the data is landing in the storage environment and then being able to trigger snapshots so that you can then investigate uh, for malware and the, and the like. So we're really taking the approach of, yeah, you know, cyber, top of mind for most uh, enterprises, and quite frankly, it's, it's becoming a board level conversation. Um, just as AI is a board level conversation, is how do we create value? Cyber is such a threat, an existential threat to businesses, um, it's a board level conversation. And so we're having, uh, you know, we're continuing to build out functionality there. And quite frankly, um, one of the reasons you know data is being repatriated from the cloud is because of, of security concerns, and now uh, that value creation is happening more and more on-prem with customers, and then we're going to be right there to help them protect that data with a combination of you know, traditional data protection, multi-layer data protection, including cyber. Well, Jim, we really appreciate you stopping by their booth. I like to say the 6.5 in the booth is basically free consoles. Yeah. The yeah, customers. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, thank yeah. you very much. The, the, please don't send an invoice. Dan and Pat won't pay it. Hey, I enjoyed the conversation. <laughs> awesome. Make sure to stay tuned for more 6.5 coverage of HPE Discover Las Vegas 2025 for me and my co host, Dave. Thank you.